Right, we're in for a special treat now. Please make him feel very welcome. The one they call Knots. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, we're pretty lucky to have an interview because as far as I know, you don't really do too many interviews. Nah, I'm um, scared of it. Yeah, you've, you, I haven't seen too many with you either on print or on TV or on the internet or anything like that. But for, for someone with such an impressive track record and discography and production history, um, that's rare. Is there, is there a reason why you're, you're so on the low? Um, like when you do interviews, they they hold they do the whole interview thing. They take it a whole different way. You know what I'm saying? Like you can say something, and they'll flip it around on you. So like I, don't, I try to stay away from it. You know what I mean? Try to far away from it. <laughs> well, thank you very much for making the trip from Virginia and um, taking some time to be with us today. Um, for those in the room that aren't familiar with some of your production history, do you just want to reel off some names of of some of the people you've worked with over the years, just to put us in a picture. Um, Busta Rhyme, Snoop, Rod Digger, Swiss Beats, um, Method Man, The Game, um, Dr. Dre, Jay Dilla, um, Diamond D, Pete Rock. Go on, man. Just go on. Yeah. And um, when did you start producing? What was the What was the first big record that you that you put out? The first record. Um. First record was with D.V. Elias Christ and Lord Have Mercy called Holy Water. It was on the Lyricist Lounge Volume 1. Mm -hmm. um, that was like, what, 90, like in 97, 98? Um, that was, yeah, that was like the first. Then, then came the Buster Rhymes, the off the Ellie, Everybody Rise, Extinction Level Event, and where we about to take it. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think we should play that one before we go any further, yeah, because... Um some of you may know this one, if you don't. Uh, rewind, let's do that again. Thank you, thank you. That was the first cut on that record as well, right? And um, how did that change things for you when that one came out? Um, Buster Rhymes got a big mouth. So he, he, after that record, man, like everything that came on that, that was on that record, everybody was asking like, who did that? You know what I'm saying? So he told like Knotts from Virginia, just fell into place after that. Everybody was calling, you know what I mean? So we got a lot of calls off of that record. That, um, the first three songs in that record for real. So, yeah. And you just mentioned Virginia, that's your hometown, right? Yeah. So um, tell me about Virginia and how that environment kind of affected your approach to music growing up. I mean, there's different types of music over there, so. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, everybody have their own clique. Like, Pharrell have his own clique. Timbaland has his own clique. And it's, it, it gets, it's hard to explain, man, because, like, everybody, like, don't nobody want to see you make it. You know what I'm saying? So that, that like, that push you, that keeps you pushing. Like, okay, they don't want to see you make it. I'm going to try to do it anyway. I'm doing it on my own. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to grind hard to, to, to really make it out there. You know what I mean? And there's so much talent out there that don't nobody know about. You know, you think you heard, like, the hottest MC when it's, it's not. You know what I'm saying? So many people out there that rap, make beats. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's amazing, man. There's so many people out there that do that. You know what I mean? And it's like you got to grind, grind, grind. It's crazy, though. So even though there's, like, so many famous producers, both in the top 40 and, you know, for hip-hop fans from Virginia, there's not really a lot of collaborating that goes on. No, it's, no, nah, it's not. I feel like everybody's scared of each other. You know what I mean? And it, it shouldn't be that way. Like we should. I mean, if we all get together, it'll be crazy. It'd be like bomb. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like a real bomb for everybody. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I try. I try to, you know, to try to reach out to everybody, but you know, it don't just don't come and play, man. <laughs> But I guess that competitive element is another of the things that pushes you on, though, right? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it keeps me going. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't want to deal with me? Cool. You know what I'm saying? I stay working anyway. I keep it moving. You know what I mean? That's why I advise everybody else, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nothing stop you. Just do it. You know what I mean? Even if the next man don't like it, somebody else going to like it. 
You know what I mean? Just do it anyway. Just keep yourself going, man. Try to keep yourself afloat, man. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't have nothing against DJs or nothing like that, but I don't listen too much too, too much radio. You know what I mean? You get hooked into that. You know what I'm saying? You can't get hooked into that radio shit because they like mo majority of them they like to play what's out anyway. You know what I'm saying? What's hot? You know what I'm saying? Versus like what they which what they know is hot. You know what I'm saying? They 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 tune in to they got to play all these 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 hit records. You know what I'm saying? When it's so much better than that out there. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. Like people feed into that. You know what I'm saying? They feed. They shouldn't feed into that. You know what I mean? But hey, it is what it is though. <laughs> it is what it is. And so, how did you first start getting into making beats? Um, my father he he made. You know, he was a DJ, so, and my oldest brother was a DJ. He made, he started making beats, like, um, like when I was a little kid, you know what I'm saying? He was making beats. Him, my, like, three of my brothers made beats. And when they, like, every last one of them did something different. My oldest brother did some funk, like, beats. <laughs> and my, my, the one that's under him, he did, like, more, like, like hip hop shit, you know what I'm saying? He was more into that hip hop shit. My brother is right over me. He started doing like Miami sounding beats, you know what I'm saying? So I like I took all that in and like, okay, look, this is what I want to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really like made me see like it was different types of music that that you can, that's there, man, you know what I'm saying? So they got out of it. I stayed in with my manager here, you know what I'm saying? Like he didn't even know I did beats. I had like a little seven second sampler, you know what I'm saying? A little keyboard. Like every time I press sample on it. It had sample up there, and I pressed sample again, it'd go over that shit, so it was like overdubbing. I got all this shit running at one time. Sound like shit, but it's cool to me. Well, you know, um, he let me hold his SP-1200 one day, make a beat on that, you know what I'm saying? He taught me a lot on SP-12. Um, that's basically it, man. Yeah. And so you've pretty much had the same people around you the whole time since you started. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, he kept me going. My manager kept me going. Daryl Sloan kept me going, man. So, my brothers got on it. I stayed in it. You know what I'm saying? I I I, I think like if 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 they would have stayed in it, you know what I'm saying? We all would have been something. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it kind of like it, it fucks with me a little bit. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Mm. <laughs> you know? And but how long have you been in the kind of production game now? Um, probably like making beats for like like 15. 15 years, 14, 15 years, but you know what I'm saying? But in doing it for like major artists, like 10, you know what I'm saying? Because like he, like I said before, he didn't even know I, be, I did beats. Like didn't nobody know I did beats, you know what I'm saying? I tried it out on that seven second keyboard, you know what I'm saying? And it is what it is today, you know what I mean? So. I mean, it seems from the outside looking in that often s people are hot for a minute or they're hyped for a minute or this dude's the go-to guy for this year or whatever. How do you stay relevant over that long period of time as a producer? You're still getting those calls all the time. Um, staying away from that fad. <laughs> That's what it is. You got to stay away from that fad, man. Because everybody, like, you know, you start doing this kind of beat and everybody start hopping on, like, okay, that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do to sell. Okay, that's what I want to do. But nah, it ain't it ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't change up for nobody. Don't don't do none of that. Be consistent with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Then you do that, it's gonna follow, man. Everything gonna fall into play. So um, talk me through the the years that followed you doing the the first Buster Rhymes album and and some of the projects that you were involved in after that. Um. After that, you know, we we was working like with Flip Mode a lot. We did a lot of Flip Mode stuff and. Um, exhibit, we did exhibit, um, 50 Cent, uh, um, the big record, we did the biggie record. Um, Which one was that? Dangerous MCs. Play it for you. Yeah, 96 for my Nostradamus niggas. My What era is that? 96? Um, nah, that was 99. 99. 99. Okay. Um, play some other stuff for you, man. Um,
I'm gonna go back to my the the first record that I, that we put out. You know what I'm saying for the for the um. Stevie Ellis, Christ and Lord have mercy. This is the first record we we did on like a major artist called Holy Water. See that that right there that that led us to the everybody rise extinction level event and where we about to take it that Buster Rhyme shit. You know what I mean? He's supposed to be on that song, but. I guess they didn't want him on it, you know. He was like, "Yo, I want to do, do some stuff for my shit." I was like, "Okay, give him a cassette." You know, what I'm saying we working with cassettes then, so give him a cassette of beats. He was like, "Yo, okay." And the first three beats that was on that tape ended up being the first three jumps on his album. So that's how that came about, man. Then we um been on that, been on like at least about three albums of his. You know what I mean? He he moved on to the to the 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 hot the what's hot producers and. You know what I'm saying? Left us out, left these hip, these, these hip hands out. You know, but um, it's coming back into play though, man. It's, it's, it's gonna work the way it is. He, I mean, he, he is what he is, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he wanna, he wanna, he wanna be that, that next man, that next dude, man. You know what I'm saying? He gotta come back to the, to the real hip hop, what, you know what I'm saying? Where he belong, you know what I'm saying? If he do that, what's gonna work out, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause right now he's, he's, he, he exploring right now. <laughs> You need to come on back home, bruh. <laughs> come on back home, bruh. <laughs> um, it seems like working with Buster really opened a lot of doors for you, though. Yeah, yeah, it did, man. Um, really, like, with, with, with underground cats, you know what I mean? A lot of underground cats, like, really, like, fuck with my sound, so... We didn't want to, like, 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 isolate ourselves to that to just the underground, you know what I mean? I mean, I love the underground. That's what I mean. That's what I grew up on, you know what I mean? Like sampling and like anything, like all that shit. That's that's me. You know what I mean? But um of course everybody want to make money, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to want to want to want to be big, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't it ain't that with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about the bigness, you know what I'm saying? Like I got kids to feed, you know what I'm saying? Like I need, we need money. Like, it's, it's, it's a majority. Everybody in here probably got kids. You know what I'm saying? We need to get to that place like, okay, we can make money without, like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of money to make that money. You know what I'm saying? We need to figure out these easy ways to do it. You know what I'm saying? Easier ways to do it. So, Pharrell kind of, like, fucked it up for a lot of dudes. You know what I'm saying? You playing more or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But he he didn't really, like, fuck it up for people. You know what I'm saying? But it put you in that the, like that state you like okay you gotta play you know what I'm saying you 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 gotta get get away from them samples you know what I'm saying I'm trying to do it you know what I'm saying gradually but you know sampling is where I'm at <laughs> I love old records man I, I listen to them so that's me man it's gonna be me all day so and um have you got a serious record collection habit do you is that a big thing for you record digging um it used to be <laughs> Now I don't get out as much, you know what I'm saying? I stay in the studio every day, all day, so trying to um make these million dollar records, you know what I mean? So it used to be. I mean, seeing as your sound so sample based, do you wanna just do a, a little break to the beat excursion for us? Mm. Maybe play something original and then a track we might know. It's a Commodore's record, man. Um, it's not out yet. Um, new Snoop Snoop record, you know what I mean? But it's like this is a sample I use right here. <laughs> and this record right here, um, this Blondie record, Heart of Glass. I always love this record. Okay. Wow. 
And this um this is a, a Curtis Mayfield record. Um Don't Worry. What kind of stuff are you using to make these beats? Um, ASR 10, Motif. Probably a trying to get a crash out of it or something. You know, ain't, ain't nothing, nothing big, man. You don't need nothing big to make stuff, man. Um, a lot of producers, man, like a lot of people think like you need like these big studios and these, this, this million dollar equipment to, to make things happen. You know what I mean? It ain't like that. Um, we used what we had, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, when we first started out, we had like a little four track, you know what I'm saying? And that like, it helped, like when we was in the studio, like, like it helped like for the now, you know what I mean? Like, like we in the studio doing mixing, like it's easier for us to do what we want. I mean, them four tracks, man, they help, man. They help, like you gotta use what you got, man. Just use what you got. You don't, you don't need none of that big stuff, man. You don't need none of that. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't let nobody tell you, oh, you need a you need this thirty thousand dollar boy. Nah, <laughs> you don't need that. You don't need that, man. Get your four hundred dollar uh <laughs> four track. You cool. You know? Um That's basically it, man. And you've been using ASR ten since the beginning, basically. Haven't changed. First we had a um my homeboy had a the EPS. I was messing with the EPS, man. Um so he seen I was getting good on his EPS. He didn't want to come, let me come over there no more and use it no more. So I'm like, okay. And uh, I'm going to fix you, dude. <laughs> it, and um, But he he messed up by letting me, uh, he, he introduced me to this dude, you know what I'm saying? Money making dude, you know what I mean? And the dude was like, okay, you know, I, I see you, you do beats, man. He said, like, what you do your beats on? I was like, I'm um, using his 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 EPS, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got your own? Like, nah. So he came past the crib, like, okay, I'm gonna come back to the house in a minute. I'm, you know, come outside. You know what I'm saying? I came outside, he was like, man, uh, you wanna go get a keyboard? I'm like, yeah. Put me in his car, we went and got a keyboard. Came back, I'm banging out shit ever since, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even go to that dude's house no more. Like, you know, you no more, boy. So, you know, that's how I came, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <I'm> dude. <laughs> oh, bad, man. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> Damn, I'm thinking about it now. That's, some sh that's fucked up. <laughs> and in terms, when it comes to engineering and stuff, have you been working with the same engineer the whole time, or do you, is it, does it vary? No, nah, I mean, it varies, man. Like, we're getting good with all these engineers anyway. Um, like half of them know 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 the sound anyway. They they we, so we don't have to do like 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 a robot. These dudes, you know what I'm saying? They already know. You know what I'm saying? They already know what it is. So, and then we we do a lot of things together anyway. Me and Daryl. So, um, like half of the tracks that we send out, like I either EQ them or whatever before we even send them out. Send them out. So they really don't have to do too much to it. You know what I'm saying? But just to get it straight, I mean, the only time the the, the, the time when it comes to doing engi ha having engineers and big studios is only when you come to track the record, right? When the when the beat's been bought. Up until that point, you're effectively doing it on what people could do in a bedroom studio. Right, right, right. Um, like I said, man, you don't you don't need all that big shit, man. Just use what you got. You use what you got. You cool. You straight. You know what I mean? You don't need none of that big shit. None of that. And in terms it's of a waste of money, right, right. <laughs> in terms of shopping beats, I mean, for people who make beats, who would love to get to a stage where they could be in your position to be able to to get beats to some of their favorite artists and end up producing some of their favorite artists. What is the process? I mean, how how do you, you know, as a jobbing producer, shopping beats? What's the process? Do you have a do you have a beat agent or is it a direct relationship with the artist or is it management that's getting the stuff out there? How how does that process work? I mean, all three, you know what I mean? I mean, you can get it any kind of way, really, man. Just don't be a stalker on it, you know, so don't go around stalking people and shit. But um, <laughs> that's real, man. Don't go around stalking motherfuckers. Uh, but you, um, just grind, man. Just grind. Don't be afraid to talk to people, you know what I mean? Because you never know who, who the next man is, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to talk to nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? You got some hot shit to speak for itself. 
Yeah, but once once you got the talent, how what's the process of getting the beats out there? And you know, especially in two thousand and seven, obviously it's the the age of the internet now. You got to be careful about sending out beat CDs, and you know, what, what what's your approach to all of that? Getting off your ass, it ain't gonna come to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got to go to these places. You know what I'm saying? You just can't sit in your room and uh, think you got a you got a million dollar beat. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna hear it if you don't let nobody hear it anyway. You know what I mean? So you gotta get off your ass, go travel, do what you do. You know what I mean? And um, watch that internet, man, because they 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 it's, they like intercepting that shit. You know what I'm saying? They intercepted a couple of our shit, so you know, dude hit me like, yo, man, I heard this. Uh, I heard the track that you did, and I'm like, I'm trying to play it, like I don't know the fuck he's talking about. Like, you know, like I heard that Godfather shit. And I'm like, what Godfather shit? He's like, uh, the Godfather track. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? But then he named tracks like that come before that shit, and he come that come. Before you know, after that shit, like on my track list, I'm like, wow, like how you do that? So now we, when we send them out, we uh, um change the name up. Like I throw Madonna on that shit or some shit, Club Nouveau, or Boy George, or some crazy shit, <laughs> throw them off and shit. So we're like, okay, I ain't gonna fuck with that. You know, so they ain't not nice. okay. <laughs> cool, motherfucker, shit. But you know, you gotta do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we send out CDs, we change the name up. You know what I'm saying? Like. Be some crazy dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? Like it'll be the, the Lego collection. These motherfuckers ain't gonna check that shit, you know what I mean? Assholes. <laughs> but yeah, they funny though, man. But you, you gotta watch all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing you can do, you know what I'm saying? These dudes two track this shit, go get a deal with it. They don't need you no more, you know what I'm saying? They got a deal already. Fuck it. Go get some new, some two hundred dollar beat, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and punks. And talking of two tracking it, in terms of the process of being a producer, say say your beat gets bought, right, and um, the artist is going into tracking it in the studio, how much involvement do you have it in that process there and then, or do you just send it off and and see how it comes back? I mean, a lot of times we send it off. You know what I'm saying? And um, they either send it back. You know what I'm saying? Like before, and, and you know to check and see like if 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 the mix is right, and but majority of these people, like, they don't even want to send their shit anyway because they're afraid that shit going to get leaked. You know what I'm saying? So half of that shit, we don't even, like, hear until it's out. You know what I'm saying? Then we like, okay, the mix is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But it's too late. You know what I mean? Or or we don't like the hook or some crazy shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's too late. The shit is already out. They ain't already pressed it up. Already on the internet. They ain't already got a video to it or some crazy shit. So, yeah. But how much of the time do you actually have the artists in the studio in the booth with you when you're recording this stuff? Um, like when it really like like any artists like when they're in town with us, you know what I'm saying. We got like I feel better with them anyway, you know what I'm saying. Versus a major dude, like they 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 got it all. They they think they know it all. So like fuck it, they don't need help, you know what I'm saying. But any artist, they're like okay, yeah, they listen, you know what I'm saying. And like whatever I don't like, they'll fix it or whatever. I don't they don't like they'll you know like okay, you need to fix this. Like cool. Vice versa, you know what I'm saying? That's how we work with these dudes. I, li I like working with any artist anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like up and coming, because you never know what the hell they're going to do. You never know what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? They can be the next 50 Cent, Jay-Z or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, man. And how many people, when they're getting the beat CDs, want to get those beat CDs with hooks ready to go and ideas already on them, or are you just sending out raw beats? Um, Both. I mean, we send them with hooks. Um. Without hooks, or or um, I mean, to me, man, like like sending a beat with a hook on it, man, you know, and then you send it to an artist that, okay, I just need beats with hooks. I think that motherfucker lazy, <laughs> like he don't want to work. You know what I'm saying? Like it's already there. He don't want to work for real. I mean, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think like coming up with your own shit. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 the sh that that fucks with me. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. You, that's some shit you made, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, versus some shit like I ain't sent out a hook to somebody, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't respect that, man. Like, it's, it's like a rapper, man. Like, somebody writing shit for you. You're not a rapper, somebody writing, writing something for you. You're not a rapper to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like I can respect a, a dude who been doing, who was doing beats for like 10 and 12 years versus a dude who just started yesterday. You know what I mean? Because he don't know what grinding is. He don't know what it is, for real. You know what I mean? He just picked it up and just did it. Hi-hat and a snare, and that's a beat, and people accept that shit. Like, it's cool. 
know what I'm saying? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Fucking punks. Punks. <laughs> and uh, it seems like you resisted the, the, the production house route of, you know, being inducted into a well-known production house under the wing of a uh, uh, better-known producer in order to get on. I mean, you've always stuck to your own name and, and gone out as yourself instead of writing your beats off as someone else's. Can you talk to me about that process? Because a lot of people don't know how that works, that whole game of, you know, writing under someone else for a while. I mean, people who accept that shit, like, you do a beat for for like a Dr. Dre or whatever, you know what I'm saying, then it comes out and it's say produced by Dr. Dre and then your name ain't on it. You too hungry for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you gotta get it in the way you get it in wherever, but still I don't I don't work like that. Like we work too hard to be, you know what I'm saying, another name. You know what I'm saying? We we, we are us, you know what I'm saying? So we work too hard for that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's no co production, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, it's produced by such and such, and not, it's like, nah, dog, you ain't had nothing to do with that. I did that. You know what I'm saying? So we fight for all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, talking to Dr. Dre, I heard you um, involved in the hugely anticipated new project, The Detox. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know about that album, man. It's coming out, though. I mean, it's overwhelming, man. Even That even come from the doctor, the good doc. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, he, he fucked with my shit. I got, I must got something, you know what I'm saying? I must really got something for, for him to be like, okay, I need this track, you know what I'm saying? It's like on a selected few that he fuck with, you know what I'm saying? For him to say like, I'm one of his, his favorite producers, that's that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? That, that that like get me right here, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I got something, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna let nobody stop me, but I, I, I got it though, you know what I mean? So he be having his people in there doing like 80 beats a week, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's crazy, like, like damn, you know what I'm saying? Out of out of these all these beats your dudes make, like <laughs> you fuck with me? Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's real crazy, man. That's a good call to get. Yeah, man. Yeah. Any idea when that's coming out? Yeah. Oh, that's a um, stupid question. Just like everybody else, <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know when that shit coming out. You know what I'm saying? He's been saying that shit for years. It's coming out, and but he trying. I guess he trying to. Says, you know, he's trying to make it like the the old chronic, trying to bring back the old chronic sound. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I, I don't I don't think it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? The chronic is the chronic. You know what I'm saying? It's a classic. You can't make another classic like that. It's impossible. You know what I'm saying? And um, especially he don't have the, the same dudes they had before, so it's not. I don't think it's gonna happen though. But it's, it might come out. It might not come out. Who knows? Probably 30 years from now. You know? I don't know. And what's the track you did called? Um, I don't even know the name of the track. It was, it was like the first song on an album, I suppose, man. So I don't know, man. I'm in the dark. <laughs> Everybody's in the dark, man. Well, we look forward to that anyway. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing a lot of people don't know about you is that you also rhyme as well, right? Um, yeah, I started out rapping before I did beats. And um, Ben and I needed I needed beats to rap to. I made my own shit, so. <laughs> Um, this is a joint right here, man. I did. It's me and um, Pete Rock for my um, some new shit I'm working on, man. Called Turn It Up. Nah, it's raw, baby. You don't know how many years I was looking for that tune, man. <laughs> that was the Dr. Dre the kind of music I do, you know what I'm saying? That was my Dr. Dre right there, man. Dilly, man, you know what I mean? Missed that dude right there, man. He was he was one of the one of the greatest, man. Um talk to me about working with Dilla, because I know you had a couple of projects planned as well. <laughs> um down to earth dude, man. Workaholic, man, you know? Um just like the Dr. Dre shit, man, it was like overwhelming, man. Like to, to see that, like he wanted something, you know what I mean? I, and being that I, I, I knew what kind of background he had, like, like everything he did, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy, you know what I'm saying? He did so much before I even started, like, really doing beats, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy. So, um, my eyes got big when the nigga was like, "Yo, we, we, I'm coming out there, I'm gonna work with you," you know what I'm saying? So then we, we, we got Diamond. On a on a um 
on Dilla's record. That was for the MCA project, right? Yeah, we got down. We called him up. You know what I'm saying? What happened to that project? Uh, I have no idea what happened to that project, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to that project. <laughs> I don't know. Um, they, I, I, I guess they may, they they trying to put it out, put it back out. I guess, man. I, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? That that that. Yeah, that, I mean that one record though, man. I, I would love to hear that on the on the radio everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. I would love to do that, man. Like like his brother did that, did 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 a record over, and you know what I'm saying? He was acting like he was still in that video. I would love to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like his brother doing that over, cause his brother looked just like him. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's 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 crazy, man. That shit is crazy. His brother looked like him, talked like him, act like him. You know what I'm saying? And you had a project planned before Dilla passed as well, right? You and Jay were gonna do an album or something. Yeah, we was gonna work on one, man. You know, um, I sent him joints, man. You know, what I'm saying he sent me beats. Just, just, I guess the timing, man. The timing won't right. You know what I mean? But we, we was, I don't know, man. The timing, man. The timing thing, man. And then I, I guess he he did it with, with one with Mad Lib. And you know. It's time and thing, man. <laughs> Miss that dude, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish he was still alive, you know what I'm saying? So we, we can knock it out, you know what I'm saying? I, I think it'll be one of the greatest projects ever, you know what I mean? But, you know, it is, man. It is. I mean, his his music will never die, man. You know what I'm saying? His music will never die, man. It's like James Brown or some crazy shit. <laughs> it's crazy, man. That obviously had a big influence on you. Yeah. Hell yeah. A lot of us, man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of underground cats too, you know what I mean? Like he had a big influence on people, you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm at a um y'all familiar with like Beat Society and stuff? Like For those we, that aren't, do you wanna just explain what that is? Well Beat Society, man, like it's like a um they go like everywhere, like all over the states and they they get like four or five producers together, put them on stage and line them up, you know what I mean? Like we just showcase beats for real, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, a lot of big producers, you know what I'm saying? They like showcase beats, and then they have like artists like perform between the beats, you know what I'm saying? Before you know, b between the playing and shit, and um, they send you a sample or something, you know what I'm saying? And everybody like do what they can do to the sample or whatever, you know what I'm saying? At the end, they they play it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's not a competition, but the crowd turned into one, you know what I'm saying? Um, but one of those, I was doing like a, and I had, I made some some Got Dilla t-shirts, you know what I'm saying, at the Atlanta joint. And I was repping them hard, you know what I'm saying? Like every time I play some shit, I throw the, you know what I'm saying, I put the shirt up or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, and at the end, this little young kid, he was like 18, 19, you know what I'm saying, came to me like real teary-eyed and shit. It was like, look, I love the way you rep Dilla, you know what I'm saying? He was from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, that was my nigga, man. I mean, he shook my hand, was crying and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like, people really love that dude, man. You know what I'm saying? Loved his work, man. Like, he, you, his, 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 his music speak for itself, man. You know what I'm saying? He put his heart into his music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wish I was like, you know what I'm saying? Really like that. I wish I was Dilla, you know what I mean? That kind of shit. So, it's crazy, man. Rest in peace, Dilla. Yeah, man. Um, so before you were talking about rhyming and you played us a couple of bits off a project that on iTunes just says knots, right. is that an indication that you might be stepping out of the producer's shadow and, and, and doing an artist album, both producing and rhyming as well? Right. I mean, it's in the making, man. That should have been in the making for years, just like detox. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, I started out rapping anyway. I started out rapping anyway, so... It ain't really a big deal, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really a big deal because I'm 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 doing good as making music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it ain't really a big deal, man. But I don't want everybody to look at me as okay, you trying to be some 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 Kanye shit or some havoc shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah, dude. It ain't like that. I started out rapping like and a lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I didn't have beats, you know what I'm saying? So I had to make my own shit. You know what I mean? If it if it weren't for that, I wouldn't be making beats. You know what I mean? So and talking of Kanye West, probably my favorite cut on the current album is produced by you. It's called Barry Bonds featuring Lil Wayne. Okay. 
Um, when did you get that call? Um, I guess E E sent him some stuff, right? Well, my manager Daryl Sloan sent 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 them um, a couple tracks, man. And it's like he wanted tracks without like hooks. You know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, cool. Uh, you don't want no hooks. <laughs> you want to work, huh? Like, yeah. So we sent him a jaunt, and it was the Barry Bonds beat. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple of dudes like my um guitar. I got a guitar dude came over, played some shit on it. You know what I'm saying? It was. It, I mean, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? He wanted it. He got it. Fuck it. I mean, that's like some overwhelming shit too. Like, like we we. I'm getting a lot of calls from like producers. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to be like on some. A couple people asked me like, "Why don't you go ahead and do a, a fucking mixtape?" But like, your producer's favorite producer. You know what I'm saying? But like, like nah, I'm not cocky like that. I don't want to get on no shit like that. I mean, it is what it is. Niggas, niggas know what it is. You know what I mean? I mean, to get a call from Swiss Beats or Kanye, Dr. Dre, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Even Della, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the, the the Barry Bonds joint, man. People love the record, man. They say it's the best record on the album, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No question. I'll play it for you right quick. <laughs> I mean, f for me, that's definitely Kanye's best record, and that's the best track on Kanye's best record, so that must be a good feeling. I mean, yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah. It is what it is, man. I mean, I I try to make records from the heart, man, myself. You know what I'm saying? I And I love the Kanye, the album. The, the album is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You can tell it came from the heart with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he went on that fucking... Shit he usually be on, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? And you can tell, you can tell, man. And um, like he really humbling up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You can tell in the interviews he's not as cocky as he used to be, you know what I'm saying? I guess, you know what I'm saying, that's, I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is with him, though, man. It's like, it's, it's, it's shocking, you know what I'm saying, to see him act like that, you know what I mean? But. It's a good thing though, man. You know what I'm saying? You can tell tell about them record sales. <laughs> and um what's cool is that, you know, as well as obviously having big records with big artists, you always keep an eye out for underground and independent artists as well. And you you work with Cardinal Official and Royce, right? You still doing that stuff? Yeah, um got a couple joints on, on Cardi's new album coming out. You know, he signed the Akon's label. Mm. Um Royce. We doing a um trying to work on an album with him, you know what I mean? Um Bilal, um, Latoya Williams. Uh, those who don't know her, you know, that's um she was with Snoop a while back. She was doing a lot of singing, you know, for Snoop. Um Man, so it's a lot of people, man. It's, it's so much it, it's it's so much shit out there, man, that people don't respect, you know what I'm saying? And I guess you gotta have a hit record for you, you know what I'm saying, for, for people to really like fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? If you hot, you hot, you know what I'm saying? If you not, you not, you know what I'm saying? You who are you to tell somebody ain't hot, you know what I'm saying? And then until you test the shit. You know what I mean? So much shit that need to be tested, man. Like people just not getting in a run, man, and when they need to. You know what I mean? Like like Bilal is like underrated like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He like one of the hottest people out there, man. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. What happened to that Love for Sale album? It got leaked. You know what I'm saying? They 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 leaked it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I don't understand the whole leak thing. Like how you don't know about it? Like how the fuck you don't know about it? You, you know the fuck you left your shit at, so how you don't know about it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's not like, like 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 you don't hear nothing like bust the shit getting leaked. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear none of that shit. Like Q Tip, you ain't never hear none of no, no try call quest shit getting leaked. You ain't hear none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like how you don't know about it? Like these motherfuckers know about it. Then you get mad because it's leaked. Like you already know about it. You know where you left your shit at. You know what I mean? Like come on, man. Like I don't understand. I don't understand that shit. You, you be surprised. Like like my shit leaked. My whole album was leaked. Like dude, you you know where you left your shit at. 
That shit is amazing, man. That shit is amazing. Like, dude's whole album be leaked. <laughs> Oh my god, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> it's a shame though, because that record's hot and it's not coming out now because of that. Yeah, we working on some new shit for him though. Have you got the track that you did for that record? Um something to hold on to. Yeah. Alright. So Bilal is coming down to work with you quite a bit at the moment, right? Yeah, man. So, um, what was the biggest record that really set it off for you in terms of major recording artists? It was a couple of years ago, right? Or was it last year? Last year, like the yeah. end of last year. Um, the Snoop Dogg record with R. Kelly, that's that shit. And that was a single, right? Yeah. How did that change the way the calls you were getting and, and the way people viewed you in the industry? It's like more major like artists, like more like radio friendly artists, you know what I'm saying? It's like like really like checking for us now, you know what I'm saying? It's like okay, now it's a whole different ball game now. You know what I'm saying? Versus like the we had like more underground people than anything. You know what I'm saying? Now we like branching off to everybody now, you know what I'm saying? Like one thing like these dudes forget, like we when once they start running to New York and, and doing what New York is doing, we on a whole nother coast. We we fucking with other shit. You know what I'm saying? And once they catch on to that, we switch and go to somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 like one of the things we keep how we keep afloat, you know what I'm saying? Like doing something the other nigga ain't doing. What <laughs> excuse me, the other dude ain't doing. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> like you're but I mean from Objectively speaking, despite the fact that you're from Virginia, would it be fair to say that your stuff almost has a bit of an East Coast sound to it? To yeah, me, it I does. Mean, that's what that's what I grew up on. Like I was really like into that, like like Beast Boys and and Public Enemy and all that. You know what I'm saying? We was we was all listening to that. You know what I'm saying? That's like that reflect like like the way we act. You know what I'm saying? Like we that's how we we even act like we East Coast out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Versus like on some down south shit. Like, I mean, we still country as hell. We still eat it rallies and Wendy's and all that crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? No, it don't matter how much money we get or none of that. We still do the same same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, we, we always been like hip hop heads where we at. You know what I'm saying? Like, like not me, but them dudes out there that you see them with, with the big ass chains and chains on and, 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 uh, and, and, and like big ass baggy pants hanging down to they fucking knees and shit, you know what I'm saying? Kind of crazy dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Man, boys just let they just love hip hop. <laughs> they hip hop heads out there though, man. But you can't you can't you can't put it like a a a dance record on and expect these dudes to dance. They're not into shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Where we at? They're not into too much shit like that. Um they can, they, I mean, they, they, they fuck with my old shit better than my new shit. You know what I'm saying? Like my newest shit. You know what I'm saying? Like some '99 shit. Like, like from '96 to '99, they fuck with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, they, they on that hip hop shit. Like real, real underground shit. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep it underground and try to do the, the radio shit too. You know what I'm saying? I gotta mix it up, man. I gotta, I gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? Being the, the shit that I do. You know what I'm saying? I gotta do it. It gotta be done. You wanna make that money for real too. <laughs> you need that money, man. Talking of which, let's hear the, the R. Kelly chain, Snoop chain. Now that record starts off with a little skit out of the film um Coming to America, right? Yeah. And um I heard somewhere that you actually did a whole like album of snippets based on the on the on the skits from that film. Is that true? Yeah, it was like a little trilogy of beats, man, I did, man. Um, I went from like the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie, like really. Um, took like certain parts, man. Go ahead, that. intro to the. The Coming to America EP. Um, 
I did. It didn't come out right. You know what I mean? And um, but this dude, he he came by with the shit on his phone that a beat that he made, and it made me don't even want to fuck with it. Like, like uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't even want to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he he make high beats, but he fucked that one up. So it's like, man, nah, man, I don't, I don't even want to fuck with it now. Like, get you that 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 taste in your mouth. Like, I don't want to. Oh man, you done fucked it up for me, man. Talking of other producers, is there anyone, be it up and coming or well known, that you really check for that you know we should check out? Um, shit, it ain't too many, man. I mean, it ain't too many, man. That dude right there, man. <laughs> um, it ain't too many, man, because everybody doing it now. You know what I mean? Everybody doing it. Ain't nobody coming out with nothing new. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nobody coming out with nothing new, man. It's like, and it's easy to get into it. Like, this it's dude was just starting yesterday getting these big deals, man. And it's, it's, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all you need is a... a Fucking box of Q-tips and a and a and a match pad and some shit. That's all you need to make a beat, and it's cool. Like everybody, like they sucking that shit up, and it's fucking it up for like real hip hop heads, man. You know what I mean? But is the is the cream still rising to the top though? I don't know, man. I don't I, like for real. I don't even know where it's going. Like everybody trying to say. Uh, bring hip hop back, hip hop ain't dead, man. You know what I'm saying? They keep saying that shit. Like, okay, if it's not dead, well, let's do something about it. You know what I'm saying? Let's do something about it, man. Like, we can't let no more of that shit in the gate. I mean, it's a lot of people, like, I can't I can't sit here and, and name names, you know what I'm saying? But it's, it's like, we too, we too fucking open arms with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, real hip hop people know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we too open arms with this shit and we letting it in, like, with ease. You know what I'm saying? When it shouldn't be like that. Like you gotta put in hard work to really to 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 get that recognition that you want. You know what I'm saying? That you need, that you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, people don't deserve it like that. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't it just don't it's not happening like that. You know what I'm saying? It didn't happen like that for me or any other them other, them, them like Diamond D's and Jay Dillers and like that. It didn't happen like that just like overnight, like one day you and you just picked up a shit and it's gonna happen. Nah, it didn't happen like that, man. But who's making those decisions? Is it the consumer? Is it the A and R? Is it the is it the artist that's buying the beats? I mean, who is letting the weak shit through, as you say? Um, I blame it on consumers and the A and Rs, man. For real, <laughs> for real, man. I mean, I, to me, A and Rs don't know shit from shampoo. <laughs> for real, man. They don't know it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, um. But a, a a a kid, I tell you what it is for real. They'll tell you what it is. You know what I'm saying? A kid will tell you like, look, I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? They won't probably won't say shit, but they think I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, um, like I listen to my kids all the time. Like they were like, 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 daddy, I I love that beat. I like that beat. Can you play that again? Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Since oh, since they like it, the world might like it. You know what I'm saying? Like I can care what a a, a dude on the street say to me about my tracks, or my beat, my music. You know what I'm saying? Cause it, okay, dude, that's that's you. You don't like it. That's your opinion. You know what I'm saying? I mean, kids buy records all day. You know what I'm saying? And um, but you won't see a kid fucking buying a a a, a bootleg CD. You won't see them uh buying no no mixtapes or nothing like that. They don't know nothing about that shit. You know what I'm saying? But they they on the internet every day. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. I don't know what it is, man. It's like the kids, man. I. I listen to my kids more than anything, though. And what records do you buy outside of hip-hop? Um, Current music. Is there any particular music that you're into at the moment? I got a couple of um, Fall Out Boy CDs. Fucking uh, The White Stripes. Um, damn, I mean, that's that's really it. Like, like I buy, like, shit ain't a, like average dude around my studio ain't gonna buy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? I might don't play around them. You know what I'm saying? Because I know they ain't gonna fuck with it. You know what I mean? I mean, that's me, though. Um, 
Like, we got a lot of records, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of records, like rock and roll records, gospel records, you know what I'm saying? Like, country records. We got all that shit. So I, I, I fuck with it all, you know what I mean? I don't just single myself out to one one type of music, you know what I'm saying? It ain't never been me, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was like that before, you know what I'm saying? It was like that before until, like, like you're not making money doing like doing that kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? You you can't, you know what I'm saying? Just you once you stay like that, you're going to always be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like nah, I, I I I moved away from that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So now I listen to everything and appreciate that shit even more. You know what I'm saying? Cuz like right now, man, I see like everybody love music in here. Like and and, and that like just like I told er, like I, I told YG, I told everybody like like People really love music, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really love fucking music, you know what I'm saying? And I thought it was gonna be on some shit like, okay, like people in here like, nah, I don't like his shit, you know what I'm saying? But y'all really love fucking music, you know what I'm saying? I love that shit. I love that shit. Like to be around people that love that shit, that, like you know what I'm saying? That appreciate that shit, you know what I'm saying? That 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 fucks with me, like really, man. You know what I'm saying? Versus you got people in the studio and just. Yes, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, that's hot when it really ain't. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate that shit, man. But I see y'all really love music, man. And I respect that, man. Which is a perfect opportunity to um, offer the mic out to the floor because I know there's going to be some questions straight away hi okay um, my question is about regarding the whole thing with the music industry and releases being really really late because you have some independent labels that may deal with some underground music but they're small labels so you can understand there might be some problem with distribution or some money but you got when you got names like Dr. Dre and Busta why exactly does it take so long for a record to come out as far as what though, like, for for them to take to come out, for well, them? I don't know, like the detox project. I t it's an example. I mean, he he he's busy with other artists. You know what I'm saying? So he's like really like focused on that. You know what I'm saying? Just like me, like I'm not even like worried about no album. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm worried about doing other music. You know what I'm saying? Of versus course, that. you're a producer, so sometimes producers like in your case. Hand something in and it just takes forever, and you don't even really know when it's gonna come out. So, what's really responsible for those kind of things in general? If you can give me an answer, I mean that's why I keep working. I just keep working anyway. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm 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 already immune to that shit. Like okay, we'll never know when that shit gonna come out. Like, I can get this through like a, a a track now. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit don't probably don't come out till like two or three years later, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know when this shit, that's why you got to keep working. You just got to keep working, keep working. I'm in the studio every day, you know what I'm saying, except today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in the studio every day, you know what I'm saying, just working and working and working, trying to come up with that million dollar hit, you know what I'm saying? Because, you, but cause like, everybody don't know, don't nobody know what the fuck is a hit. Don't nobody know that shit until, until you test that shit, you know what I'm saying? If people eat it up, they eat it up. They don't, they don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody know what a hit is. It's like I'm saying, like, People be like, they, um, I need a beat like this. Like, dog, that's not going to make you like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what a hit, you don't know what a hit is. Don't nobody know what a hit is. Like, I don't believe these dudes, like, when they say, like, oh, yeah, um, uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I hear a hit. I hear a hit. Like, these A&Rs, they don't know what the fuck a hit is. Don't nobody know what a hit is. You know what I'm saying? Until you do it, until you test it. You got to test shit, man. Like, you never know, man. You just never know. You never know, man. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me turn this shit off. But yeah, you never know, man. What a hit is until you until you really like test it, man. Like it's so many people out here doing it now. You know what I'm saying? It's it's hard to get records out. It's it's really hard to get records out now. It's 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 even harder because your ma my mama make beats now. You know what I mean? So it's harder and. It's like I said, like we 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 too open arms with everything. You know what I'm saying? We too open arms. We can't be like that. Just can't be like that. I mean it's cool to like accept like different kind different types of shit, you know what I'm saying? But don't just fuck it, man. You gotta do your background on these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, what what have you done? What have you done? You know what I'm saying? Uh besides yesterday. <laughs> what have you done? 
Like it's it's crazy, man. Hey, what's going on? Hey, has there any ever been any projects of people that you refuse to work with? You say what? Has there ever been any people, artists, or projects that you refuse to work with? And uh, and if 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 it has been, you know what what's that one thing that make you say, nah, I can't, I can't do it? I work with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I work with anybody, man. You know what I'm saying? But you, when you do work with certain people, man, you 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 do see the way these people act. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a couple people that we did work with. You know what I'm saying? Like when they came down, there was a whole different p person. Like they was humble. You know what I'm saying? Like they won't dress them with the, the flashy shit and all that shit. Then the next time they got a deal, they come back with glasses on. They got a they in the studio with shades on. It's bright as hell in the studio. You know, so you got shades on and you got a bottle and shit for what? You know what I'm saying? Like like dog, you won't like that yesterday. You know what I mean? Like keep it keep it the way keep it real with niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real with people, man. Like. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't let no money change you. Like, we ain't gonna never do that. We, we've always been the same people, like, since from, from day one, we always been like this. You know what I'm saying? We probably were the coolest people you'll ever meet, man. Mm -hmm. Man, have you regretted working, you know, after you work with somebody and you mm -hmm. hear it, and probably feeling that vibe for that person, have you ever regretted some work that you did? Like, damn, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done that, or, or, you, or whatever, you know? No, 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 it's always like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain, certain tracks, like, you be like, okay, um, like I, I I hear this this person on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But somebody else get it that you know they won't do it the way that person will do it. I mean, it's always like that. It's always like that. But um, sometimes you just gotta you gotta go for it. I mean, you gotta go with it. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta roll with it. Like you know what I'm saying? But you do regret some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of shit that you know that that you think in your heart. You know, like like everybody. You you gotta track like. If you want to get to this dude, but this dude just don't take it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this other dude take it, and then this dude will come back and be like, look, I want that track, and it's gone. It's all, it's already gone. You know what I'm saying? And that, that kind of like fuck with you, because you know that shit could have been big. You know what I'm saying? With, in your mind, it could have been big. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's a lot of shit, man. It's a, yeah, we go through it every day. Any more for any more? Um, who who you wanna work with the most? I mean, in the past time, the the history of hip hop till now, who you work with? Uh, who you want to work with the most? Who I wanna work with? Mo mostly, like your your favorite one you wanna work with. Um. You know what? I like working with that dude right over there. Just walked in, called now official right there. You know what I'm saying? That dude right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, that's one like one of the humblest cats in the world, man. Right there, man. You know what I'm saying? I love, <laughs> I love working with that dude right there, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, Scarface, Scarface. You know what I'm saying? He one of the realest dudes, man. Um. It's, it's 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 a lot of dudes, man. It's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people. So it's hard to explain, man. I mean, it's hard to like you know what I'm saying really think about it because y'all y'all do. I mean, y'all already know y'all got me nervous. <laughs> y'all, you know, what I'm, saying? I'm not used to be like speaking in front of a lot of people like this. You know, what I'm saying like I'm always in the dark with a lot of shit. Like we shut down a lot of interviews and all that kind of shit. I mean, it's cool to do an interview on the phone and all that shit. I ain't got to see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no bright lights. You know what I'm saying? Any more questions? Okay. Uh, what do you think of this new way in hip hop of Dirty South and Kronk stuff? I mean, like, it's like taking place right now. I mean, everybody get they run. Everybody get their chance to shine, man. You know what I'm saying? But when I think of Dirty South, I think of like, I mean, I think of like T.I. 
I think of like um like 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 Luda and all that, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think of that new shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't I me mean, personally, I can't respect that shit too tough. You know what I'm saying? I think of that that as that that yesterday rap. You know what I'm saying? You just started yesterday type shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not cool. You know what I'm saying? It's not cool to me. I mean, it's winning, though. It's winning right now, but, you know, it's all a fad to me. It's a fad. Everybody go through it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, it's going to come back around, you know what I'm saying, to, to the east and all that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get their they run, man. You know what I'm saying? Cali got their run. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, it's about to come back around, though, man. Hi. My question is, how do you sample without getting a lawsuit? <laughs> how you sample without getting a lawsuit? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you gotta get that shit clear. <laughs> it don't clear, then, then don't use that shit. <laughs> yeah. Hi, um. Oh. Oh, okay, I just wanted to ask about the Barry Bonds song. Um, Kanye's got a uh, co production credit on it, and I'm wondering. Um, I think some people might might think of him as like maybe a bit of a control freak or something. I'm wondering um, what the process might have been like transferring from your your music into his studio. And I mean, with that co production thing, man, that's like a this is like anybody, man. You can put a hi hat on anybody beat and they get a co production on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's with anybody. He just threw a yeah and then that was it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it's, it's yay. <laughs> you know. All right, don't forget um, tutorial going on downstairs straight after this lecture. Don't forget tomorrow morning, very important cardinal lecture. We're all looking forward to that. But for now, please say a very big thank you to Knotts. Thanks.